God is telling you today that a very religious person is being dishonest behind your back, which means they may hurt you physically and are trying to make you lose a lot of money. Because they want you to think they're looking out for your best interests, that's why they're acting this way. They experience intense jealousy because it makes them feel inadequate. Once they take into account how well you're doing and how magnificently you're living, they have a lot of jealous thoughts. I have proclaimed dominion over your ways of life, along with prosperity, tranquility, and healing. My word is definitive, and you must always keep that in mind. I have promised you that what I have said will bring you happiness, peace, restoration, and money at some point in your life. I have also stated that these things will come to you because of the things I have said about your existence and because I have worked hard for you. Here are the advantages. Victory, peace, recuperation, and money. Fortunately, I have been financially well off. While I stand by and watch them hurt you, anybody who was planning to harm you will now be unable to do so. It will not materialize anymore. A terrible assault is being plotted by your opponent, and it will knock you to your knees and cause your family to weep in front of you. God wants you to comprehend that. In the aftermath of this incident, you will be utterly devastated as you see your loved ones weep. In my opinion, it makes no difference what your opponent does to undermine your position in the market. Make sure you watch this video till the very end. You now possess everything that is necessary or desirable for the manifestation of miracles in your life. If your only source of religious conviction is faith in God, then please disregard my warning. If all we have is trust in God, then nothing is impossible for Him to do on our behalf, provided we submit to Him. God promises a wide variety of benefits to those who put their faith in Him and ask for His guidance to live a life where serving God is paramount. Some things are broken, but God can fix them and make them lovely again. Among God's miraculous works is this. Nothing more is required than to acknowledge something as true about an object or somebody. It may just be the size of a mustard seed, but its flavor is far from ordinary. So that you won't be able to relish in your fate, Satan wants you to be afraid of it. The fact that Satan lies is one of his distinguishing characteristics. Hence, it stands to reason that he is a liar. Put an end to stressing out over your life circumstances. Pay close attention to God at all times in this scenario. Take advantage of every moment to remember him and express your gratitude for what he has done. Please show your support for God by sharing and liking this video. We can better help you find creative solutions to your problems if you can remain cool during any disagreement. An agreeable condition is one that, by definition, leads to peace at all times. It means giving up on the idea that you have to know everything and instead letting yourself be guided by the aspect of the issue that is most troubling you. Everything that needs to be done has been done. Everything that needed to be accomplished has been accomplished. Knowing this is true will prevent you from reacting emotionally or overanalyzing the issue. There's only a little while left and everything will work out perfectly. Everything is going to be top-notch at this point. Pay great attention to the advice offered to you and start working harder all the time if you want to be great. Focus on what is happening right now rather than trying to predict what the future holds. In order to find out what the future holds and how things pan out for you, you are about to begin an exciting sport. In no time at all, you will be promoted to a procedure that will give you access to several first-rate benefits and rewards. You may expect to see this merchandise shortly. We expect the merchandising event to happen soon. The people in your life may experience an abundance of happiness and longing as a result of your remarkable journey. The reason for this is the exceptional level of fun you may expect. This is the result that will follow your achievement. Because of the good fortune that has befallen you, that is exactly what will happen. Having a positive outlook requires two things, a terrific disposition and the ability to maintain a steady temper. No matter how hard you try to hide them, Miracles will still find a way into your life. Persevere with unwavering conviction, knowing that your wishes will be fulfilled 
and your aspirations will come to fruition in due course. Keeping moving forward will bring your dreams to fruition and they will be of the highest quality. All of your hopes and ambitions will materialize in an extraordinary manner. Pretending that this could ever make sense is ridiculous. Understanding anything on our planet is challenging. The fact that you're traveling in complete darkness means that your adventures should blend in with everyone else. They are not required to act in such a manner. All of your deepest, most important goals and aspirations are in your hands right now. If you want to create anything with certainty, you should dream big, yet let go of any doubt. An incredible transformation is about to take place in your romantic life. One that will transform your relationship into something so beautiful that it will almost cure you and give you a fresh start. You can find that your mental and physical vitality are both boosted by making this adjustment to your lifestyle. The fact that God gave us this communication confirms His presence. Helping and comforting you is my desire. You have my deepest admiration. What you have done wrong will always pale in comparison to the wonderful things God has in store for you. This much is certain. Just keep your calm and keep thanking God for all the beautiful things He has done for you. You should be glad when other people are happy and you should be very sad when other people are really miserable. Feeling both joy and intolerable disappointment simultaneously is the most fulfilling way to remain. Suddenly, you will have more than enough money to settle all your bills and give your children a special gift, just as God promised in the Bible. You will be utterly taken aback by this. Everything is being rearranged so that it can help you more in the end. I hope this might be of use to you. Give Jesus Christ serious thought and trust Him with all your heart. Everything else in your life is in God's control. As a result of the tremendous power, riches, miracles and gifts that may be forthcoming to you from the sector, it will be evident in a few ways how your life has altered and that is the path to achieving maximum prosperity and pleasure. In response to your prayers, this variant will appear at the proper moment. It has been revealed to you by God and I will restore your broken way of life. I am connecting you with all you asked for, so be ready for your request to be restored. According to God, I am able to confess openly that there are moments when I wonder whether they are being dishonest. In other cases, however, I can't help but wonder whether they are being unjust. But now that I think about the bright side, Lord God, I can see how you were there the whole time, working things out for my benefit, even if I didn't realize it then. They have been sneaking into my favorite spot, even though you have been trying to resolve things. You may have been dragging things out, but you've arranged things so that they benefit me. It is impossible to circumvent this criteria. It must be satisfied in every case. The next week, a crucial development will occur in your life about which you could find yourself speechless. At some point in your not-so-distant destiny, whatever you have been hoping for and praying for will come true for you. You must have a receptive and accepting attitude toward people. I just wanted to take a moment to express my deepest gratitude for all you've done for me. Your patience with me during this whole ordeal is inspiring, even though I know I am unworthy of your love. I just wanted to say how much I appreciate all you've done to improve my life. Dad, you must know how much I value and honor him. You are appreciated. As long as the door remains closed, God's rescue plan for you will arrive as a substitute for your current plans. It has been opened and closed, so it is in the correct location. No changes are necessary at this time. Because the desire to gain money is fundamental to many other forms of deceit, are you going to swear that you won't go insane trying to achieve your financial goals? Some people have lost touch with their religion and caused themselves a great deal of suffering by engaging in actions they know to be sinful in their pursuit of money. All the love, healing and money that is supposed to return to your lives will begin to do so in the right way the week following this one. Things will start to manifest in the manner that people expect them to. Everything that God is doing in you and through you right now 
is according to his perfect plan for your future, which he sees clearly. As far as anybody else can tell, he is preparing for an unknown future. He is taking these measures in preparation for a future he sees. Each of these deeds is a cog in the wheel of fate that he perceives most clearly. This circumstance, as I understand it, has caused you a great deal of difficulty. That's my apology. You must understand, however, that despite my deep concern for you, I will never put you in a situation that is beyond your capabilities or too challenging. I will never put you in a scenario where you can't handle it or where your explaining skills aren't tested. I have deep feelings for you, and that's why I'm taking this step. Because nothing will change, no matter how many days you spend wishing things had been unique, expecting them to be is a waste of time. That is why hoping for the best would be a waste of time. Things won't always be this horrible, and if they ever do, I'll be here to console you. Let me explain something to you. Keep pushing forward. If you're planning on planting seeds, remember that the yield can be directly related to the variety. When people plant a limited number of seeds, the crop they obtain is relatively tiny compared to those who plant a large number of seeds. God wants to tell you something, so listen carefully to what he says today. Keep in mind that the difficulties you're experiencing right now may not last forever. This fact should remain firmly in your mind at all times. I am well aware of the fact that you are now very exhausted. God will perform a miracle for you soon and you will see his presence in your life. Keep in mind that additional options may arise soon, so this is not something to be taken lightly. For a time, things were getting worse, but now they seem to be improving. There are indications that the potential to recover from injuries may become more apparent in the near future. Take this as a sign from above that you are entering the most joyful period of your life at the moment you are learning this. The only thing remaining is for them to actually encounter them. It may be crucial to pay close attention to the specifics of the topic you are working on at the moment. You must keep your mind clear of negative ideas and focus exclusively on good ones. I hope and pray that the Lord blesses you abundantly. Because you're staying with Him, He has the power to miraculously solve all of your problems and improve your lives. The fact that you are clinging to Him is the root cause of all that has transpired. Wait until some time has elapsed before taking any action. Stop letting your immediate desires distract you from the abundance of good things happening in your life right now. Resist the urge to let it divert your focus. Do not do this if you do not see an immediate convergence of all relevant factors. That doesn't mean good things aren't planned or on their way to you. The fact that you are unable to see bad things at this moment is no excuse for them. It may not seem like much is happening at the moment, but that's okay. Even still, beautiful things are beautiful in their own way. Even if you can't see it happening immediately, everything will work out for the best. Just a little more time. Do you remember how crucial it is to consistently demonstrate patience and commitment? Think about always siding with God. You have a lot of potential, but God thinks you'll be unappealing in whatever endeavor you do. You won't be able to accomplish any of them well or achieve any success in any of them unless you put in the time and effort. Devotion is essential. Sharing this video would really assist me in getting the information out there. It could be crucial that I comprehend all of your intentions right away. So I implore you to take the necessary steps to bring it into being. I will shape them beautifully according to my best guesses for what will bring you the most joy throughout your life. I shall mold them according to my best guesses for what would bring you the most joy in life. You brighten my day with your presence. It's reasonable that not everyone understands what you're saying since you wouldn't want someone to put in the effort to be disappointed. Whatever it takes, I get what you're saying. You are the most exceptional part of my day at the moment. You are about to get the miracle that has been stirring your heart with such passion. An important change is coming to your way of life. Therefore, you should quit bugging others. You will undoubtedly succeed, and so will the individuals 
who may be most important to you. Remember right now that you shouldn't let your stress get the better of you, no matter how tough things are. Do not be afraid that I will take on all of your problems. I am strong enough to handle everything you throw at me. You should not be concerned about anything. This can mean you don't have to worry about getting dragged down. If you put me first in all you do this week, God promises I will make sure everything works out well for you. Now that a new week has begun, I want you to give this some thought. Feeling happy should be your goal. I beg God to bless you abundantly, despite everything that is happening in your life right now. A person is instantly placed on the most loving frequency when they receive praise and appreciation. They can be doing it to demonstrate their appreciation for someone else. A portion of the holy texts includes the books that follow. The ancient Hebrews believed that blessing another person should bring them happiness and improve their lives in every way. The idea that praise has been there since the Bible without anybody noticing is the foundation of this viewpoint. They were cognizant of the fact that those bestowed with divine assistance had electrical power. God is trying to teach us that the most difficult times in our lives often come while we are striving to do great things. People who have lofty goals and a good higher purpose are often thrust into situations where they must overcome insurmountable obstacles. What God wants us to know is that being a part of that organization will bring its fair share of hardships, but those trials will shape us into the kind of individuals who can confront their destinies with confidence and strength. If you want them to have a good life in the future, you have to ensure that you provide for them. Everything that goes wrong is meant to happen to you, and every challenge you face is an opportunity to grow as a person. Getting to the top of your field usually requires figuring out how to pass a labyrinth of challenging obstacles. Help me to bear the cross of what happened in the hereafter. It would mean a lot to me, dear Lord. I would really appreciate your assistance on that journey so that I may approach the present with an open heart and mind. It's not at all what I had hoped for, but I do hope that others might get insight from my experiences. In everything that happens to me, the people I interact with, and even to myself, I would really appreciate your assistance in seeing the bright side. Similarly, I would want your assistance in recognizing my own positive qualities. Please try to think of me in a way that brings me gratitude and quality whenever you think of me. It would mean a lot to me. Just take care of it. Please know how much I appreciate your encouragement to lead a life that is kind and altruistic, much like the one you've chosen for yourself. Can you kindly lend me a hand with this? What started as a prayer to God the night before became a conversation with him. In light of your instructions, he was acutely aware of the anxiety, depression, uncertainty, and agony he was experiencing at the moment. Thinking about it makes it obvious that you have been unhappy with your family, your kids, your friends, and your current circumstances. He saw your weeping. He also saw your anguish as you felt helpless. Besides that, he could see that you were worried about your own situation because of the tears you cried. At the moment, you're paying attention to what God is saying. He assures you that there is a blessing in store for you for every tear and every night of restlessness. At some point in the future, you could be leaving this area. They will be there in a minute. This group of angels has been instructed to pave the way for you. Have no fear. Because this pain has been going on for quite some time, you may not have much more time to endure it. You may take it as a promise. In paradise, you will enjoy my favor. By bringing you down from your overactive state, this may offer you healing miracles and answers to all your problems. Keep reminding yourself that this case is providing all the right facts until you give it some thought. At some point in the future, this may come to pass. You might look at more useful stuff. The more people you talk to while you're going through a tough time, the happier you'll feel, unlike at any other time in your life. At this very moment, you may be happier than at any point in your whole life, including all the previous times. Is the idea that this is an improvement over the previous state of affairs no longer appealing to you? 
Everything you've worked for in your life up to this point is at stake. You have the power to control your ideas. If you do, you can change your life regardless of your circumstances. If you start to choose your ideas, you can transform your life right now. There is no situation as bad as it can be if you make the most of your current frame of mind. Just as there's always a way to improve, there's always a way to escalate a terrible situation. In any case, you have a lot of leeway to make the necessary adjustments to your life at this point. I am almost certain that I will get this gift. In order to create a positive lifestyle for the future, the most important thing is what you are thinking now. Your mental faculties are the primary source of your vitality. Because you are always asking whether your life may be transformed by using the things you think about and pay close attention to, it is reasonable to assume that you are constantly engaged in something important. This statement is accurate, regardless of your opinion on the matter. It is not possible to be joyful while harboring a terrible mental state. You feel true because of the positive ideas that have been running through your head lately. There are no constraints imposed by existence. The only obstacle you face is your own thoughts. Put simply, there's an activity that requires you to be in an exceptional state of mind in order to enroll in, even if it seems like you've purchased all the possible items, hasn't it? The majority of people think you're unfit. Yet right now, what's materializing before our eyes isn't your glory. Without a doubt, God is unique. Your guiding light is on and it's becoming brighter. Things about your life, which may already be decided, cannot be stopped by anybody or anything. Embark on a journey towards your ultimate goal. As an option, you may have your friends see the video with you in case you want to handle the matter yourself. Gratitude should be your guiding mentality. You'll benefit a lot from it. Before you arrived here, you made a lot of progress, but there's still a lot more to learn. You have a good chance of continuing to improve during the next several years. Remember to be grateful for all the new information you have received. You can make the most of what is occurring now and what could happen in the future if you utilize the options you have. You made it through the tough patch you were in and everything has worked out well thus far, all because you know what God wants for you. Good things that may be occurring around you should already be within your capabilities. After you make those changes, you should feel better. Yes, I did choose you to improve your health, wealth, and happiness. Also, I really did choose you with the intention of making you happy in every way. In the event that you are in agreement, you will soon be assigned a position that will allow you to receive a plethora of additional bonuses and honors. This is all in preparation for the immense joy and desire that your loved ones will experience as a direct consequence of your immense contentment upon learning that this is going to happen. Be ready to give this considerable consideration and have an inquisitive mindset at all times. Your mental attitude is the single most important factor in determining the quality of your day according to one of the Lord's proclamations for today. If you want to make it through each day, you have to face the fact that you're the one who has to generate the power that makes up each day. Doing this is the very minimum to give yourself a fighting chance. As long as you don't let your internal state be affected by the things you have to do outside of work, it's like having a weekend. Your personal experiences are entirely up to you since you are the only one who can be held responsible for anything that happens. With each passing minute, it seems like a fresh and lovely present is given to us. These days, God is communicating with you in a manner that is totally private. You simply have to accept the things in your life that you can't change and go on. You can't change the outcome of this situation since I'm standing right here. You may have faith in me to attend to this and ensure that it is fixed within the next three days. After doing this, you will know all there is to know about the topic. It turned out that this adjustment from your original plan was God's way of making sure you would be safe in case of an emergency. At that moment, he was curious about himself and she became the only other person he knew. He can't be more than a respectable distance away from you, 
I assure you. If you want to do the things that make you happy and provide well for your family, you don't always need to depend on other people's generosity. It is possible that you are offering aid via your message. In the next seven days, your good fortune will double thrice if you hit the like button on this video. Before they ever step foot in your facility, be ready to make them feel at home. If you believe this to be true in God, then please watch this movie in its entirety. Close your eyes and picture yourself experiencing the life you've always dreamed of while describing its smell, feel and appearance. Be very careful to focus on the details. All it takes is a little period of closing your eyes and then you may open them again. Get ready to be amazed when your conceptual ideas materialize in the real world. A really large event, which may come as a complete shock to you in the near future, may be fresh in your mind. You won't be able to contain yourself after experiencing such an immense surge of joy and contentment. All of your thoughts and feelings will be racing through your head at a pace that you can't possibly keep up with. Whether or not it came from another world is something you could start to wonder about. It will be difficult for you to gauge the rate at which everything is developing. Prepare yourself so you can deal with it. It is advisable that you prepare for it. All the terrible things that have befallen you over the years and caused you to cry will soon be a thing of the past. We can say with certainty that they have accomplished their goal. Feelings of joy, contentment, love and generosity will replace them. Everything that has ever made you cry throughout your whole life is a part of this. Here, you will have an overwhelming sense of good fortune. Not long from now, you will have accomplished a great deal. If you can, try not to let your anxieties get the best of you. It will all have been worthwhile if you are able to keep your faith while going through this tough moment. Someone eventually stops by your house and knocks on your door, even if it's far in the future. You probably won't have any late payments to fret about since you can pay all of your bills in full. There is a high probability that your current economic situation will undergo rapid and substantial changes in a variety of important ways. Make the most of the significance something has in your life by realizing it is a gift and putting it to good use. On the other hand, the water that I am about to offer him will transform into an inner spring, and then it will flow upward into everlasting existence from that spring. Nevertheless, the Savior promised that anyone who drinks from the water that he would give them would never again feel thirsty, even if this happens while they drink it. According to God's word, you will soon begin to laugh, trust, and love again. At scratch, you will start over with your romantic lifestyle. If you ever need my assistance recouping what you've lost, I'll be here for you. God is now meticulously crafting your tale, attending to every detail from the very beginning to the very end. You shouldn't discount the depths of human understanding just because you haven't written about or directly encountered every possible option. When you think that everything will go according to plan and that all your concerns can be handled, you can rest certain that there is nothing to worry about. Stick to the plan and remember that you are solely responsible for the energy you release into the arena. Agreeing with the method is the next stage after which you may sit back and let your goals come to life. I am grateful for the effort you are making to see this project through to its conclusion, as the Lord God has spoken. You have no idea how amazed I am by the tremendous amount of work you are putting in, and I am overjoyed by it. You have my undying devotion. Given the current state of affairs, I have a plausible strategy for your lives that I want to implement in order to guarantee the greatest possible outcome. Considering the current state of affairs, the plan's objective is to guarantee that all aspects come together to produce desirable outcomes. You shouldn't turn a blind eye to the fact that I called you, no matter how confused or irritated you are right now. People in the modern world endure a lot of pain and suffering because of the way things are, but they also often experience a lot of joy wonder and beauty within the context of it all. The public's focus should be on the great reports 
and possibilities that are available in this world, and your key ideas should revolve around them. It could be wise to pay attention to the things that Earth offers. On top of that, you need to make an effort to turn the negative world of suffering into something constructive. It may help you become a better version of yourself, therefore, you should let it change you. God assures you that His benefits will engulf you if you are receptive to receiving them. Eventually, you'll realize that right now, you're exactly where you should be at the exact right time. People are more likely to go out of their way to help you when you're in a jam, when they have a good image of you. You must remember this even when you are in a difficult situation. From the depths of this sector, I am sending you my deepest wishes and prayers. You might have been led to believe that you were rejected by God in order to shield yourself from anything that could end your life, alter your permanent location in this world, and control your destiny. Hold this idea close to your heart at all times and know that God has wonderful plans for your life. Nothing is more important than keeping this in mind at all times. I give you the blessings of good mental and physical health, abundant wealth, harmonious relationships, profound connections, tranquility, and progress in all areas of your life, including your finances, spirit, and relationships. All of these things will happen because I speak the word. Beyond this, I promise that you will achieve great success in every area of your life and that you will have excellent health. Whatever you have planned to do this week, know that it is for the glory of God and His purposes. We trust that our hopes and desires as expressed in our artwork, will be realized in due time. In my opinion, you will be able to pull it off with ease. I promise you that no matter how difficult things become, you will find a way to overcome them and succeed. Your ability to overcome any obstacles that may arise along the path you have chosen to follow is always, without a doubt, on my mind. I am completely confident in you. Whoever reads this is in for a fantastic next week and it will profoundly alter the trajectory of the remainder of their lives as a result of this. As a mile-long promise from me, this may be a beautiful day, full of presence and walking. Whoever reads this comment, I pray that God blesses you. Please God, if you have faith in God, I implore you to hear their prayers and grant them health. Provide for all their needs, defeat all their enemies, and let blessings flow freely into their lives. No matter how far you try to escape the truth, my love for you will never stop pursuing you and could eventually find you, Lord. It is fair to assume that you will be there in the correct place at the correct time, given your track record of reliability. Others are more likely to go out of their way to assist you when you're in a jam if they think highly of you. This becomes much more obvious right now when you are in a jam. All the wonderful things that I have planned ahead of time for you are now being given to you. Worrying about the next event as a means to exploit your life is pointless since it may not pertain to you at all. Just try a lot of different things and have a lot of different faiths. As soon as it is practically possible, I can have the appropriate staff members contact you and they will do so without delay. Just as I have been, I will continue to put you through a careful test over the following three days. I was planning to keep working on the display until it broke. If you're unhappy and desire more experiences, I can help you have them. Even if it seems like there's no way out of this jam, I can figure it out, even though you feel like you can't. It is assured by God that He will provide you with the strength to do this. Eliminating all ideas should be your first objective. Instead, you need to be seeking guidance throughout it all giving thanks to God first for everything He has done for you, and then communicating to Him what you need from Him moving forward. The opportunities that come your way may make you feel like you'll never need to borrow, beg or fight for anything again. This is a promise from God, because we promise something, that's why. Moses learned that I was about to give you money and people resources that you could never have dreamed of before. Things are looking like they're about to change for you. Eventually, you will understand why God created you and anticipate this type of lengthy term if you can hang on successfully. What God is doing right now is much more than anything you could ever hope to achieve 
or even understand. Stay calm when you're being careworn, make it a habit to wish every day, and take solace in the fact that you still have a desire, in addition to everything else you may probably think of. God bless you, no matter how difficult things become for you right now. My kid may come to me with high expectations and the knowledge that I am your God, because humans are capable of communicating with God, and God will tell them things. If I can get over my own infection, I can help you get over yours too. The day we've all been waiting for has finally arrived, and you may soon be released from jail, giving you the chance to return to a life that's more normal. During this holiday season, I will put you in a position of joy and desire beyond any you have ever experienced before. Maintain an optimistic outlook and look for ways to uplift those closest to you. I am someone you can rely on. I am in a position to stop doing it right now. Whatever God wants will happen, and there may be no stopping it if he is serious about it. Absolutely nothing can stop it from happening if it is God's will. Also, even if this is now seeming less likely, which is quite unlikely, God still has something better planned for us. Let go and keep this fact in mind when you perform this way. God responded to Elijah's questions concerning his life's trajectory by promising to rescue him from oblivion and provide him with great honor. The purpose of Elijah's life had been a point of contention with God. Because you are dependable, work very hard, and respect me in this manner, you have earned my appreciation. I have some important news to share with you, so arm yourself. The most amazing experience of your life is about to begin. Things are progressing as they should and are drawing near to where they must be right now. It's almost like a jigsaw puzzle where the pieces are gradually fitting together to create the final picture. Prepare to put your brain to work. A word from on high says you may relax and wait. It will bring tears to your eyes. There will be times when you really feel like giving up, but you can't just do that. You should be prepared to be let down by your expectations, but there are good reasons to be optimistic as well. In the future, you will face difficult times. Preparation may seem like it takes forever, but trust that God will give you the strength you need to see it through. There will be many possibilities presented to you in the future, and you should seize them. Your persistence will be rewarded, and more than that, in the end. You may relax, knowing that everything will work out in the end to your satisfaction, since the whole universe is keeping a close check on it. Abundant benefits designed to astound you will be heaped upon you and the people closest to you. Everyone, but particularly you, has plenty to be proud of. Feel free to proceed with this. My head is spinning because I've just heard the most incredible news. You probably don't want to miss out on God's excellent things happening in your life that week, if it's at all possible to do so. In return for the pain, anxiety and worry you're feeling right now, I promise to bring you peace, love, healing and advantages. I really hope this is useful. My friend, it may be a serious promise I make to you. Please let us join together in this prayer to the Lord. God the Father, I am overwhelmed with thankfulness as I come to you today. I really hope you understand how grateful I am for this. You have done so much for me and your kids, and for that, I am really grateful. Additionally, I would like to convey my appreciation for the beautiful weather that we have been experiencing recently. You have helped me achieve my objectives, and I am thankful for all the gifts you have bestowed upon me. The kindness and compassion you show me every day allow me to get through the day and take on the obligations that are essential to me. Your actions have given me the capacity to love and respect you indefinitely, and for that, I am eternally grateful. Currently, God is engaging in a one-on-one -on -one dialogue with you. Anytime it occurs to me, I will always be able to fix the problem. Supposedly, he would tell you, I am the God you worship, and I can aid you in all your undertakings. In good times and bad, in the good times and the bad, you can count on me to be by your side. I assure you, I can be by your side forever. Please share and like this video to show your support if you believe this to be true about God. Having trust in one's own abilities is mostly suitable for certain contexts. Having faith in my own abilities 
and achievements is no longer a bed of roses for me. You must know that I infused you with an abundance of untapped potential when I created you. Your chances of success are increased if there is a chance that other people can achieve their goals. You are someone in whom I have complete faith. Make an effort to be more lovely, please. Your perspective on lifestyles prevents you from reducing yourself to a level with the rest of us. Finished acting helpless. You had successfully defeated all of the other competitors and secured first place. The best way to get your anger under control when things are tough is to come to me for advice. When times get tough, you can count on me to be there for you. Instead of turning to food as a crutch, remember that I am the one responsible and that I am aware of your desire to alter the way that important things are entering your life at this very moment. Despite the fact that new beginnings are taking place, you shouldn't give up hope since I am the reason. In order to make the improvements to your lifestyle that you desire, after you decide to cut ties with the unfortunate people who have been a part of them and prioritize me above all else, you must first decide to change your lifestyle from how you likely lived it before you decide to make adjustments. Doing that will lead to an improvement in your lifestyle. Your ability to remain objective will grow in direct proportion to the strength of our connection and the amount of time we spend together. Goodbye to manifestation. For tuning in, I am grateful. Get more messages from God by subscribing. Amen.